Hi everybody, welcome back. We are two months into the new year. Can you believe time flies so fast? How's it going with your language learning goals? I am really curious to know how it's going with your language goals and are you struggling to stick with a schedule? Well, today I would love to recommend a new app to you. I know a lot of you are telling me, how do I set up a language learning plan? How do I stick to a schedule? And of course, there are so many resources out there. Which one do you use? Today, I am recommending the Busu app. What I love about Busu is that they can also set a study plan for you and they send reminders for you to help study the languages every day. You can also learn 12 languages on the Busu app, which is really awesome. My favorite thing about Busu is the context. It teaches you phrases that you can use in natural daily conversation. So it's not this like random textbook language or sentences you'll never use. So Busu is categorized into different topics for each language. And there are so many topics to choose from. So you can be sure to start off on the ones that interest you. Another thing I love is how it is structured to learn vocabulary and then conversation and also exercises. Right now, if you want to try it out, you can sign up for free or you can choose to get a premium account with lots of additional features. So I've been using Bosu for quite a few days now. Here we go, opening it up. And the very first thing I did was to take a level test. So I haven't touched French for so long. I've been learning French since I can remember at school and I haven't touched it since 2012 when I graduated high school. You know, I took such a long pause in French. Let's see what my level is. Okay, I've already taken a level test on Busu for French, so it's placed me just between B1 and B2 in French, um, which is really awesome. So if you don't feel like starting at the beginning, if you're not a super beginner, uh, it'll kind of complete the lessons for you already with these green ticks and then um, show you where you can start from. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, switch to Japanese for this part. Okay, so they have complete Japanese, Japanese for travel, hiragana and katakana. I'm gonna just go to complete Japanese and you see that I've done a few lessons right at the bottom so I wanted to see like how advanced do they really go. So I was doing the one on getting married. If it's like a filled color, it's something you've completed. So I've done the conversations and I've done the quiz, but I skipped the vocab and dialogue. But let me show you how um, Buzu teaches vocabulary. Kekonshiki. Okay, so you see they give you a picture and some audio and they play, play it to give you the vocab word. What's really awesome is there's an example sentence as well. And you can also listen to that. Mm -hmm. And you can see what it means. You can also mark words as favorites and it adds it to your profile so you can access it later. Etc. Then they test you, so you need to say what what it is. Okay. I know these. Let's see what else. Rings. Shinkon Ryoko. Shinkon Ryoko. Shinro Shinpu. Shinro Shinpu. Shinro Shinpu. Eh, Shin. Ah, okay, this is a honeymoon. Get married. Surprise, surprise. So you'll see the lessons are very short. They just teach you a few like... <laughs> so after the vocab, it takes you directly to the conversation. Conversation I love because it is a natural recording. It's not like a Google Translate sound. Uh, so you can try and practice talking like these people. Another thing you can do is also translate it to English. So if you're not understanding what the sentences are, don't worry, just switch between Japanese and English. And you can also put on the pronunciation, so the domaji, if you don't know how to pronounce something exactly. Once you continue, you have to fill in the words from the conversation. Right. Personal opinion. Something I'm not really enjoying is the uh, fluency marker. 3% fluent in Japanese. That is, to be honest, I don't think this is uh, a true reflection of your fluency. It's really awesome that you can do a level test, not in all of the languages, but in some of the languages. But just because I've completed a few lessons doesn't uh, reflect my fluency. So 
I think what they're doing is they have all of these words in their system and they're calculating the percentage of the words you know. So I've only learned 16 words in Japanese on Busu, therefore I'm 3% fluent, which is not fluent. Okay, wait, I'm done. Go away. Okay, so you'll see the colors fill in once you've uh, completed the lesson. What I love about Musa is the UI. Like, it is so smooth. The design is great. I love the colors. And uh, I like to see, like, how much of a lesson, like, a section I've done. So, so far, I'm super enjoying uh, what the app is looking like. Let me take you through the level test. So that's the very first thing I did on the app. So right now I'm going to do the French level test again so I can just show you guys how it works. The first thing it's asking me, oh my gosh, my time is running out. Select the words in the correct or order. Okay, uh, je parle français et il parle turc. Okay, put the numbers in the right order. Ew, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Tu as passé un bon week-end Oui, j'ai passé un excellent week-end. Samedi, j'ai visité le musée du Louvre. Ok, so it's past tense. Valérie est allée au Louvre. Oh my gosh, c'est bien le musée samedi. Ah, pas avec son ami. Ok, she didn't go with her friend. I answered that too fast. Ok, let's continue. Complete the sentence with the right verbs. Je me réveille 6 heures. Fatigué. Je me régale quand tu fais la cuisine. Tu es un vrai cordon bleu. Tu vas préparer quoi ce soir Je vais faire une salade. Elle va être délicieuse. I like that they have audio clips as well because it's testing your hearing. That's a skill that people are um, struggling with on all of apps. Uh, Matteo can't sleep. He's afraid of the dark. J'ai peur du noir. Samedi matin, je vais jouer au tennis. Je vais, it's the future. On va jouer au foot. Alright, so at the top you'll see you can switch your languages. So I am learning Japanese, Arabic, Spanish, French, and Chinese. And these are all the other languages you can learn. This is interesting. Learn Spanish with El País. That is a newspaper, I believe. Oh, awesome. So these are like newspaper articles. Let's see. Sweet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can watch a video and test your understanding. This is awesome. I haven't seen another app do this. Oh, sweet. Okay, so they give you a vocab list at the beginning. Very useful. And then you watch a video. Lo que hago aquí en el Museo del Prado es unir dos pasiones, es botánica y eh, por otro lado el arte. Okay, I don't have time to watch the whole video right now, so I'm going to click continue and just see. Okay, so they're testing you in English. Very interesting. Uh, I didn't watch the video, so I'm just going to guess. Okay. Okay, here's a Spanish question. ¿Qué pintor presta atención especial a las plantas? El Bosco pudo conocer el trago gracias a... I don't know. Grabados. Okay, it would help if I actually watched the video, but that's really cool. I love it. All right, let me take you through the other stuff. Vocabulary and grammar. I don't think I've added any vocab, but I believe it's going to land up here once I do more vocab. Let's actually change back to... Oh, that's because I'm on Spanish, right? Let's go to Japanese. As you can see, something that's bugging me is I would like to have like all my vocab in one place regardless of the language. I don't really want to jump back. Here we go. So we can see in the vocab section for Japanese, these are the ones I've learned. Uh, and I guess if I am getting things wrong, it'll add it to weak or medium words. You can also get native speakers to correct exercises for you. I get notifications from people who are learning English so that I can correct their English phrases. In turn, people are correcting my French, Japanese, Chinese, and Arabic. Busu currently has 90 million learners, so you can be sure there will definitely be someone to correct your mistakes. Don't worry about that. So we can see that Mohammed is learning Arabic. I mean, he's learning. Excuse me, where's railway station? The railway station. Okay, he's learning English. So what you can do is give 
um, feedback to somebody. So I'm just gonna say, hold on. Excuse me, where's railway station? All right, so he said railway stadium instead of railway station. So I'm gonna give him some advice. So, hi, Mohammed. It's railway <clears throat> station, not railway stadium. Keep going. And I'll give him a, a three. And you can see other people who you can help. Okay, in your profile, you can see your progress in the languages. Again, what I said, so I'm on Japanese right now, and it's just measuring my profile, like my fluency in Japanese, but I would want to be able to see all my other languages here. So it's just put Japanese and Chinese, but I'm not seeing anything from French or Arabic, which kind of frustrates me because I keep having to switch languages. Anyway, um, let us switch back to French, for example. Français, complete French, and go to my profile. Okay, so it's, ah, here we go. I'm 82% fluent in French, which is also not true. I don't think I'm that fluent. <laughs> okay, and then we see the Japanese and Chinese. Yeah, so the profile, I think, can be improved a little bit, but anyway. Exercises, they put all your language exercises and all the corrections you've given. Sweet. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is the study plan. So, you can see at the top right, there's this little pie chart that I'm going to click and it will help you choose your goals, set a schedule and generate a study plan. Right. So for me, specifically for French, what is my main goal in learning French? E learn for fun and culture. Okay. What level do you want to achieve? Definitely want to achieve B2. Oh, it's not even letting me choose the others after my level test. That's kind of smart. Okay. Let's aim high. When would you like to learn? Um, I guess I would like to learn on the bus, which is like... 9.30 a.m. <laughs> for 10 minutes a day and on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. To give myself a day off, Tuesdays to Fridays. Okay, it's gonna make a study plan for me. Night. Oh, what? You should be able to reach Upper Intermediate by January 26, 2022. Why is that so far away? Oh my goodness. Okay, do I have to change the minutes to like half an hour a day? September 30, 2020. Wow, I wonder how they came up with the logic behind that. That's probably only if you're using Busu and um, how long it'll take you to complete all the levels. Very interesting. I. I think that related just to their app, that's probably how long it's going to get you to complete all their courses. But remember that apps are only supplementary to your language study. So you can still get practice by talking to people outside, by, you know, being immersed through through music, um, videos, TV shows, whatever. So I don't think it'll take that long. Don't let that discourage you. But what I do like about the study plan is that it's going to send you notifications so that you can do this consistently every day. Because y'all know that I have a problem sticking to my goals. Okay, I actually have to go and teach a Korean lesson now, so let me do the summary really fast. Things I love. Content. There is so much content and it seems that they're adding more stuff like uh, learning Spanish with El País. I see that there's like The Economist for English. It's not just um, content created by Busu's language educators, but also content from other sources. Very cool. I love the UI. As a UI UX designer, the app runs really smoothly. For the most part, it's easy to understand. It was a little difficult to find my level test, which I had to go into my profile. Um, what I don't like is that I have to keep switching languages to see my progress for everything in my profile. So the profile content kind of changes depending on which language I'm on. So that's a bit annoying. Oh, and also I think the fluency is a bit ARB, but that's okay. That's really not the primary function of the app. So yeah, pretty good. For me, um, someone who is maybe um, intermediate or not beginner anymore in Japanese, I find that there isn't a lot of new content for me, specifically for Japanese. However, for French, Spanish, languages where there's lots of grammar and conjugations, there's still a lot for me to learn. All right, that's it for now. Please do check out Busu for yourself. Have a try and see how it goes. The link is in the description so you can download and register for Busu. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!